I always think it's Becky. I've never fucked a Becky. <laughs> Audio's rolling? That's cool. <laughs> That's I have never hit a Becky. That's perfect timing for the audio to Let's see. <laughs> Rebecca. I don't think I've honestly hit a Sarah, to be honest. No Tonys, no Tims, no Matthews. Hey. Clapper. Welcome back. Welcome back to the podcast. DJ, spin that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to pay attention to Joe's fingers. Uh, 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 uh. I'm watching Joe's hands as he's slapping the beat. I hope I'm catching that shit like I'm catching some heat. There's a fireplace over there, got a joint in my hand. And we all up in here, Joe's wearing some vans. Okay, that rhyme, but that's cool. I don't even know if Joe, I'm Joe is trying real hard to <laughs> find that beat right there. He was like, I, I was can, trying to catch something. Bro. I can hear I him. Know. He can't hear it. Hey, yo, welcome back to the podcast. Back. This is Beanie Boys Being Blunt. I'm yes, Thad B. That's him. That's Cameron McKenzie. That's me. We got Joe Bruno on the ones and twos. Give it up for Joe. Callan's right behind the camera. Hey, Callan. Callan Reese, dude, he hosted. Very special guest today. Jose McCall. Jose McCall. Give it up for Jose McCall. We are at Looney's Comedy Corner right now. Woo, woo. Uh, we'll get to you in a second. For now, it's time. It's time for new jokes. Mm, mm, mm. Is it time for new jokes? Uh, huh, huh, huh. That one's easy to keep. That beat's easy to yeah, keep. Yeah, right I can there. just sing that shit. All okay, right. well, we know it's me because I didn't do them last week. So I get to be the host for the evening. Yeah. Um. Cool. Give it up for Wheel of Doom show, guys. Yeah, uh, that cool was great. Thing. It's been Everybody a wheel, killed. like uh, Wheel of Fortune. We're gonna Whatever. we're gonna Shout keep to this John. thing rolling though. We got a great uh, guy coming up. He's a uh, um, he looks good. Thanks, Cameron McKenzie. Everybody, All right. yeah, that's an intro I like. Uh, it's a bummer that it's hoodie season because I'm circumcised. Okay, nice, um, nice. Nice. I don't like that cops have like sneaky cars. I don't like that I don't know when a cop is around me. Like in Europe, like you know a cop is there because it's like a like a blue and yellow car. You can usually see it's like a Subaru that no one else has. And then like in England, you got those dudes with the fucking like condom hats on. Like those are cool dudes. The bobbies here, I don't like that shit. Like you should be able to find someone. Like what if Mrs. Merriweather's purse is getting snatched? Who am I gonna call, dude? Like Facts, this is so dude. stupid. Like I gotta. Facts. Now I just get p- pulled over for DUIs. Um, <laughs> I had to explain what tater tots were to a grown man the other day. How'd that go? I looked up when tater tots were invented. And it was 1956. I know he was born after that, so like he's seen them. Yeah. And honestly, like it is so hard to explain what a tater tot is. Why did they invent tater tots? Well, I though? was like, it's a hash brown but small and yeah. cylindrical. And he was like. Why? And I was like, that's not what you asked first. Like, you asked what it was. Yeah. It made me mad as an Irishman. Uh, I... Let's see. It's been like a week since I've done new jokes. Oh, I think it's... Uh, I listen to a lot of rap music. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> shocking. In my corduroys. I think uh, cool it's funny thing. that, like, you'll have four dudes on a song, and three of them will, like, rap or, like, rhyme rhythmically poetry shit about really cool shit thank you for the light um (laughs) they'll like they'll like rap over some really hard shit like i'm gonna shoot you i'm gonna steal you i'm gonna like take a bitch whatever and then one of the guys in the booth is like i'm gonna sing now (laughs) what is that conversation like like yo that was cool bro i'm gonna sing about doing the same thing and he's like i'm gonna shoot you bro i got my draco in the alley like that's not hard at all but I'm still listening. It's and rap funny. battles, honestly. That's a that's started. actual lyric too. T Grizzly. Is it somebody's like little brother or family member? They're like, include him. <laughs> yeah. like, you said you could go to the studio if you took me too. And mom said. <laughs> yeah. Mom said I could yeah. come. Mom's beautiful <laughs> at church yeah. choir. Have hey, let your brother he has sing. Rhythm. Yeah. Let your brother he sing. He never in claps the on the ones and threes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cameron anyway. McKenzie. Everybody. Those are new jokes. Yeah. Thank you. Woo, woo. Yeah. We got uh, Jose on, dude. Like Jose McCall. We got oh. the McCall, dude. How you doing, man? Chilling. We're good. We're good. Chillin'? Yeah. yeah. What a busy, dude. I feel, oh. like, I feel like there should be, like, you know how, like, we see delivery drivers? That's what cops should be, right? We should know yes. where they fucking are. Like a big ass time. Amazon truck. Yeah. Well, if they're there to protect and serve, I would like to know where they're at. Yeah. Because yeah. I need cops some protecting. What if you, what if you, you need yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Like the app pops up, it's like. 12 stops away. <laughs> yeah. And then he comes in fucking like, hey, by the way, you were speeding earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I there's to too many <laughs> stops, so I'm going to cancel and get Uber cops, yeah. and then I'm just going to get someone else. We're really backed up. It's the holiday season. Can but I get a lift? I just saw you kill somebody earlier, so I <laughs> got to take you in right have you guys, now. Uh, have you guys ever called 911? <laughs> I have. One time my buddy was dying. 
It was crazy. He was having like allergic oh, wow. reaction. I went over to study. Allergic reaction to what? Uh, some like medicine that he got. I forget. Oh, it wasn't like a food? Like, no. Oh, no, Cool Ranch Doritos. But he was it. like sick. And then I was going over because we were part of, this was in high school, and we were part of like the same like fucking group project or whatever. So we were going to go and finish it. It was like the day before. Yeah. And he was like, all right, call me when you're here. So I called him when I got there. And he answered, and he was just like fucking dying on the toilet. <laughs> so I walked in, and I was like, why are you drinking? It's like 11. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, I'm having an allergic reaction. Call fucking 911. Damn. I, I freaked out, and I had to call him. What dude. was the conversation like? Uh, they were like, is it you? Are you okay? <laughs> and I was I was like, I don't know. Bye, Bye Callen. Callen. Good job tonight, bro. Um, they were like, are you, are you good? Like, is it you? And then I was like, no, it's my friend. And he was like, what's happening? What color is his fucking puke? Is there blood? How old is he? Where was too he born? Too many questions, too many questions. And I was like, Jesus Christ, he's just, somebody get here now, not the cops, but somebody, <laughs> somebody <laughs> get here. Cops. Yeah, because that's the thing is you call 911 and it's like, that's three different services. Have you called the cops? <laughs> I've <laughs> worked at 911. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I can explain all what happened. Jose, uh, Jose's like, I remember you calling yeah. me, dude. Like that shit, <laughs> that shit was actually crazy. Yeah, yeah. You used to work That's for him. Right. Yeah. I've Would people I, prank you? I took nine one calls for seven years. Damn. Almost. Oh yeah. my lord. What was that like? I mean, obviously, like I'm sure it was nuts. Yeah, it's like I work in something related still, but yeah, not the same. But yeah. Bananas. <laughs> did anyone like? Did anyone ever call just to mess with you? Constantly. That's annoying. Oh, we had Sorry. one where it was. <laughs> this guy spent like ninety minutes on the phone. This guy who was like, they're kidnapping someone and they have guns. You thought he was like following this person, and they were like, he was calling from a disconnected cell, so uh, you can't figure out who it is. And sneaky. After like, after like uh, an hour and something. He was like, April Fool's, and he hung up. And it was fucking what April 5th. It wasn't April <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're four days late, you fucking yeah, twit. Like That's it fucking wasn't annoying. Even the day. It was oh. like the calendar day. Yeah. It, was like, it was on a Sunday, so <laughs> yeah, I'm using today. That's yeah. fucking annoying. It was April, it's close. That's like a full like movie. That's like Ratatouille. He was <laughs> on the phone during it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Are oh, you yeah, uh, yeah. are you legally allowed to tell us like the craziest call you got, or is that yeah. like illegal? Uh, you can't, it's not like you a jury. I don't think. So you can't like give a name. You can't give like an address. D- I want you to drop all of that. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah, they're shout listening out to dude. Mr. Franklin. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's weird because it's like I don't know what the craziest shit is because it's one like that sticks out. All the fucked up stuff is what sticks out, where it's just like, yeah, it's just like a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I don't know. There's some weird, we had one. <laughs> is there anything that happens like after a really bad call where you're like, that's not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fuck oh. you. Do you know what I just got? People will call and be like, this guy parked wrong. You didn't hear like somebody, <laughs> like a kid just died. You know, like, you're like, come on. Yeah. Dude. You know, like, Pick your battles. Somebody's like, you're like, they're like holding their kid while they're shot. And they die. <laughs> it's like this brutal fucking thing. And like, they get there and it's like, oh, they we don't know if they made it or not. They took them back emergent, and, you know. Yeah, and the next person is just like, my neighbor plays Mexican music too loud <laughs> every weekend, and you want, and, like, they curse you out. It's the worst. It's like, <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Uh-huh. That's yeah. funny. How many Karens do you deal with like, yeah, in, like, grocery yeah, stores, yeah. dude? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thad, ask your question that you ask everybody. Oh, dude, yeah, I got a question for this you, This is a man. good question. It we don't mean any offense. It no. is no offense at all. I don't mean it like that. I just genuinely want to know. Yeah. Jose McCall, th- what the fuck do you do, man? Mostly struggle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking preach, dude. Damn. <laughs> it's, an, uh, Damn. it's the climb, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're digging str- out the trenches. Uh, this is a therapy now. What are you struggling yeah. with? <laughs> 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 what are you, we're on what's this company couch. Struggle? No, wait, wait. What's a struggle that you like? You don't want to admit to because you feel like it's not actually something that like actually holds up. Like I have one. This is gonna get like, really deep still. Well, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I have one where it's like I don't want to wait so long for the food to cook in the oven, and it's like I struggle with the patience. So <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm just gonna go microwave, and yeah. I know it's better in the oven. Like the pizza rolls. Yeah, pizza rolls. Biggest pizza rolls example. Always dude. in the oven, but I cook them in the microwave, and I don't like that about myself. And I just want to wait the 13 minutes. One like, of yeah. mine is parallel parking. That's like a big struggle of mine. I get really bad <laughs> anxiety about it. Like, I'll park. You should get that car that does it for you, and I'll then you just get in dude. an accident and blame it on the technology. <laughs> I'll p- I'll park two miles away instead of parallel yeah, parking. Yeah, yeah, That's okay. a struggle of mine. Yeah, I'll I get that. What's yours? What's a struggle <laughs> that like isn't one? Because we all know. struggle. 
probably impulse buying sh- video games and yeah. dumb shit. Yeah. Probably, yeah. What, so what you're rich. Do you have? I'm not rich. That's the problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that you're be definitely not now. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, that's just a like, hobby. This is I Tuesday. Have. Dude. I'm just buying. Yeah. It. No, I'm. I'm like. Bro, what do you I'll game on? Like, Are you? Uh, I'll be like, they have the Steam sale. I need to ah, get five dollar dude, games. Uh, that shit's crazy. Sale, even though it's not a good I heard idea. about the, the fucking struggle, what is man. that? The Steam <laughs> thing that you can get that you can plug into anything yeah. and you can just game on the, the road Steam like deck, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah Steam Deck. That shit's crazy. I want Steam one. Deck. Steam Deck. Yeah, you they, can just they game them with their own Switch now, basically. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, but it's like you know how Steam is a thing. It's the Steam library, so it's like all fucking twenty thousand games or whatever. Well, not like the thing that comes out of some. Yeah, engines. I was gonna say like condensed heat. Very good, <laughs> yeah. very good. Uh, no, no, no. Steam's like that uh, PC gaming thing where you can like download whatever and just play whatever. Yeah. Like it's sick as fuck. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah you guys why, remember? Like, uh, that's why guys that beat your ass on Modern Warfare, they're playing on a PC. They're playing on Steam. Yeah, they're steaming it. Yeah, I don't want to like sound too young or make you guys sound old, but I think you guys remember those mini clip games. Yeah. In high school. Mini Did you play mini games? clip, dude? Yeah, I what would were the gaming sites? That, would you do, do like addictinggames.com or albino? This black is sheet? like shit I would use when like I was Newgrounds in school. Would have been like yes. the yeah, 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 yeah. Of that. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mini clip was mini. my shit. I remember when internet gaming was polite. That's how old I am. <laughs> it was so polite. It, cool man. Before a f- no, it, it was like you would play shooters, and it was. It was considered like <laughs> good manners. You said nice shot and good <laughs> yeah, and, and fucking. You it's would, like, like a pickup game of basketball. Luck. Yeah, yeah. Good and job, then like dude. Xbox it, and it was like, whoa, this is all the slurs. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> all that one time, Overnight. every single one I've ever. Dude, heard that in my shit life. hasn't changed a bit either. I just got a mic uh, microphone for my Xbox, Ooh. and I put it on, Man, and does it feel it's like 2006? just yeah. dude. It's Bro. it's fucking you got wild. Got Lil Wayne in the background and people are just yelling shit. I feel like I, as like I do comedy, so I see some like and hear some fucked up shit sure. a lot of the times, and then I hear that and I'm like taken back. I'm well, like, you shouldn't be you saying like that. You're in like a locker room, but you're showering and everyone's just in changing yeah. and they're saying stuff, and you're yeah. like, are they talking about me? Like, yeah. <laughs> You're just like, saying stuff. Wait, who'd you say? Who'd you say that about? Do yeah. you think I'm actually black? Do you actually? Think <laughs> <laughs> are you calling me an N-word? Because <laughs> I'll take it. That's awesome. <laughs> Good for you. I read that there was a Xbox chat room that the cartels were using. <laughs> and the fucking feds infiltrated that. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what game do you think they were like? Was their cover? <laughs> they're playing like GTA. Their <laughs> like they're not helping. <laughs> yeah. I bet it was, dude. Sure it had it to have been. been. Like no, Bro. that's just the mission officer. <laughs> that's just yeah. we were, we're no, we were, bank, we were doing a heist. Dude. <laughs> cool, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine, dude. They that's just hilarious. they just came out with the thing on GTA where it's like a like a drug dealing like whole. It's a cartel, cartel mode. thing. Yeah, they Damn. just came out they with one of those, waited. and I'm like, <laughs> 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 bro, they would have got away dude, with everything. Like eight, yeah. eight year olds, <laughs> eight year olds play that game though. Yeah. Dude, eight year olds are gonna like, be able to get shit across the Miami border. Bro. Yeah, that shit's cool. They're gonna go. They're gonna ask their parents like, hey. Could I get um four moving trucks for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> can I, I need hey, can I get a one-way plane ticket to my age? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need a gun and a yeah, yeah <laughs> a dude. plane ticket and a wig. Like yeah. you shouldn't let you shouldn't <laughs> let I don't I mean it's just crazy to me that they're adding shit like that. Yeah. And literally there's infants playing this game that are just gonna grow dude, up. Dude, I like played that. Grand Theft Auto two when I was like 11 and i remember it was the first time where i said to someone where i was like let's go do this crime <laughs> like it was like <laughs> let's like commit a crime right now and yeah. i was yeah. like let's trap this hooker in a thing and yeah it was so dude. weird i was like his mom's gonna walk in and beat him <laughs> <laughs> you know, for playing when you're at shit. the strip club in gta Part, yeah, yeah dude it was just me shows and the fake marcel. titties shout out marcel he's not listening but like <laughs> he doesn't know why <laughs> it was like 25 years ago See, that's a real thing i used to get fucking paranoid about that shit Parents about my, my parents, video yeah, and it's just like fake titties on the screen. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're just yeah, like zoomed in in like a yeah. chat. That's like, like while <laughs> you're playing like Skyrim or something, and they're talking. You just zoom in on the boobs. You're like, this is cool. Mom, <laughs> mom's like, what are you doing? Dad's like, why aren't they real titties? <laughs> like, <what> the <laughs> Do you ever get walked in on jerking? Ooh, no, not yet. <laughs> I could, I could come down. Please don't do we that. We live together, so I could definitely yeah. like sneak in. Yeah, yeah. You Did you ever get caught jerking off? I don't think so. <laughs> if you did, it just wasn't significant enough. Yeah. You didn't know that you got caught. I'm if like, you did. I, I'm like, I no one ever confronted you. Exactly. I'm like, no one confronted me about it. But I'm like, sometimes I'm like, did they just walk somebody could have watched? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have just seen it. <laughs> I know I haven't closed a blind once or twice. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, somebody might have. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking somebody. Somebody could have like walked in and That's watched crazy me the whole that, time. Like, someone could have seen. 
people naked. Did you get the person did anybody walk know. in on you? Yeah. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad almost did one time and like I was it was uh Joe has Joe Bruno has a joke about it where it's like the computer room where you jerk off. And that's just weird. <laughs> The and family like, I computer. Had it, I had it <laughs> yeah. in my bedroom. So I was like, yo, I'm the only boy. This was a yeah. dumb idea. Yeah. So I'm just like searching the word naked and spelling it wrong every time. <laughs> naked. And like, <laughs> in a KID, it comes up with the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but my dad knocked, which is the first time he's ever knocked. And I'm mid, like, beat. Like, I'm like, oh, I am no. figured out the stroke because <laughs> I'm like 15. I'm like, this yeah. is what I'm working with for the next 13 years. <laughs> yeah. And then my dad walked in and I'm like, Ugh! and I just put it in my pants. And then he came in and talked to me about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy. Yeah, and I think it could have a big budding of my sexuality because he came <laughs> to players and like I pictured Mike Madonna and like uh, you're God like oh yeah Wayne Gretzky like, does have a great jawline. He's a good looking <laughs> nice. dude. I was like I like when they grow the beards in the playoffs too. And then I just <laughs> it sucked. That's wild. So that's the only yeah. that's the only time that's happened. I got caught by a girlfriend one time, but then turned like kinky, and I was like, "That's cool." Really? Yeah, but then she asked what I was watching, and I was like, "Don't worry." About <laughs> <it."> <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, she didn't look anything like the people I was watching, <laughs> and that's. Sad. I think that's a compliment. You're though. just watching Project Runway. I wouldn't want to watch someone that looked just like them, because then it's like a disservice to them. You can just yeah. watch them. Well, I think about that all the time. I really don't want to get into it, but I never jerk off to somebody that looks like somebody I know. Oh wow. You know I can't a lot do of people. It. Yeah. I think it's a bad omen, dude, because once you, you do get, that, the trouble that is Once you, you do that and then like you get the opportunity to have sex with that person, you're like, "Oh, you're, you're not, like you're, you're not, not her. You're not <laughs> Annika Albright." <laughs> yeah, dude. Shout out. Fucking big Yeah, bit. she's watching our podcast for real, Ten? too. 10 and it's Christmas. Oh, is this dropping on Christmas? Holy shit. Oh shit. Mary Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Yule. Uh, yeah. yeah. Happy Yule. I hope you get your log. To uh, um. It's the end of Hanukkah <laughs> for all of our Jewish people. Yeah. Is it? It's the fourth day. No, we're halfway through. Not our Jewish people. Oh, right people. now it's it halfway like through, but we're That sounded it, wrong. It's the last day of Hanukkah. Kwanzaa's dropping soon. Kwanzaa. Chinese New Year's Boxing next year. Boxing Day. A couple, yeah, a couple months. Fourth of What's July will be holiday, here Jose? before you know it. I don't know. What's your least? What's one that you just fucking hate? I don't hate any of them. Really. Okay, way to be. Passive. How do you feel about Christmas? Here's the thing: <laughs> it's an <laughs> excuse for Christmas? people to be happy, right? Sure. I'm like, we need more. Yes. We need more excuses for people. We to should not fill the calendar. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm for. I'm like, whatever reason you got can the you party, let's do that. Can well, you I stare at that camera and make an ad about that? <laughs> right? yeah. We need more. <laughs> a campaign. <laughs> Holidays. If you vote for me for <laughs> city council, <laughs> I guarantee you we're giving six holidays a month. <laughs> that adds uh, If you yeah. vote That's 72 Jose. a year, if you could do the quick math like I just did. Yeah. There's not even 72 weeks. Only fi- only 52. Very 52. good, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, that's awesome. That's mind blowing. Dad, what's your least favorite joke you've written about your like that you've written? We never least, talked about that. What's a least joke that you hate telling? But oh. you still do, and then you groan when you tell it. Because we've all got that one where it's like, I know it's going to be a good laugh. Honestly, the dairy joke, the fucking I how fucking dairy, it. it's really that one. Well, it's just a milk pun. You Have you heard that one? The oh. the uh, Tell the dairy joke for Jose. Uh, so I was hanging out with this girl the other day, and then her, uh, her parents came home, and I immediately noticed that her mom was in a really bad mood, and I'm super into mom, so I was like, hey, what's wrong? How can I help you? And then... She was like, oh, we just got home from the grocery store, and my husband spilled the milk all over the garage floor. I said, oh, my God, how dare he? That's what you get. Yeah. That's my, that's my one-minute closer. When I look at the clock and <laughs> I okay, see yeah, yeah. one yeah. minute left, I'm like, you need a line. this is yeah. it. This is how I'm going to get off. It's probably that one. Yeah. I'm sick of it. It works as a closer, though. Yeah. Because it makes them all go, oh, they at least make noise so I can be like, well, you I'm that B or, hey, here's this next guy. You know what I mean? You I just yeah. write like two more punchlines to that <laughs> and then you'll rejuvenate. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. How dare you? Workshop it. Sorry, yeah. that's cheesy. Yeah. yeah. Do well, you? When do you throw yeah. out a joke, Jose? Like, when are you done with it? As soon as it fucking starts. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, do you ever get tired of them? I put them on the shelf for later. Sure. Because usually I either can't figure them out. Like the writer's block type shit. Yeah, Yeah. like something that's irrelevant about it. Or I'm just, like, tired. I'm like, this is, I know. (laughs) 
that this is not where I'm at now. Right? You're literally yeah. just like, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> eat some soup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Speaking of jokes, um, you got one? Tell us a new joke. Brand new. A new joke. Which sucks because we just watched your set and it was full of new ones. No, it was full of old ones. I know. New ones to me and Thad, I guess. Yeah. I haven't heard a couple this of them. The there was about I half. Wrote that's not working. <laughs> This is a great uh, safe space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I l- I You're in the green room. I like winter. Yeah? Yeah. I like winter because people go do winter sports and they leave town. There's more parking for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I like winter because no one questions how much soup I eat. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a soup premises. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super. <laughs> I'm a supreme. Yeah, that's silly. Yeah. I kind of don't like how long it took me <laughs> to, to get it. supremacist. <laughs> I was like, that's Sup- a w- that's a weird thing to say. But then I was like, like a real super- term. <laughs> yeah, supremacist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's like, are you trying to be <laughs> racist right now? <laughs> hey, are you trying? Are you trying to be fucked up, man? Well, no, I get it now. That's a good joke. I'm, <laughs> like I'm better than all of you cold people. Like, <laughs> where did you think that joke was going? Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> dude. My head You're so <laughs> caught up on the supremacy. My head took a weird turn, man. That's I don't so know funny. where I was going. I like <laughs> it though. I like it. I like it too. It's a good joke. How much supremacy. time's left, Joe Bruno? Five. Five. What's your favorite soup? Italian yeah. wedding. Oh, good it's soup, it. dude. Or pho. Those are the two. Pho? I fuck with pho. What is, it? what is Italian wedding? It's got like spaghettis, but they're dots. And Little it's pastas. got meatballs, but they're dots. They're like Everything's tiny. really small. Yeah, they're like tiny meatballs. It's dank as hell. I've I'll never d- heard of this ever. F- hey, we'll make it. I mean, tomorrow's a cold day. I don't yeah. know. We could have some soup. Yeah, dude. Get some Italian <laughs> wedding soup tomorrow. Change your life. I'm Sabine. I'm a supremacist. <laughs> now. I'm a supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a supremacist. When I was in in Missouri last month, I'm so sorry. They had twenty dollar <laughs> cartons of smokes, and they had this weird soup in a crock pot, and it's one of the best things I've ever eaten. What was it? It was like a white, some kind of. I think <laughs> gravy soup. <laughs> <laughs> it was white. It was beans, <laughs> and it was like amazing. I was dude. like, oh, this like changed my day. Like, it I l- dude, soup can change your life. Yeah, man. yeah. I fuck with the, I fuck with soup. Soup is religion to me. What really. is your favorite soup? Man, He's, he loves soup. Right now, <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'm gonna have to <laughs> say, <laughs> must. I'm gonna have to say a potato ham and bacon right now because tis the season. Wow, you that know, sounds I want that great. Thickness that with a little cheese dope. on top, a little shredded cheese on top. Yeah. Um, but honestly, a beef bourguignon I can eat all the time, which is like a red wine beef stew based thing. Whoa. Yeah, I really fuck with soups. I make a good chicken soup. I'll have to make that sometime. Yeah. I'll okay. feed all the comics with some chicken soup. Uh, yeah. It'll be chicken soup time at the Beanie Boys house. That sounds awesome. I, yeah. Yeah. Soup's awesome. Well, I made soup one time and then I just ate all of it. Thad didn't even eat it. Really? Yeah, I ate it real fast. <laughs> it was like it wasn't even in there 24 hours. I was gone. I yeah. made some chicken noodle the other day. That's How really about the only soup I'm familiar with. Chicken noodle. Chicken That's noodle. Super familiar with. Tomato. I fuck with a good tomato. Um, oh, I like a good like uh, yeah, soup cauliflower soup. cheddar broccoli type sitch. Yeah, yeah. Sour yeah. cream and yeah. onions a good one. I'll do Ooh. cream of leek. That's even Ooh, acceptable. Cream I of like leek. All the creams, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Hey, cream. Yeah. hey <laughs> shout out all your moms. Hey, <laughs> fucking cream pie. Leave yeah. in the comments what your mom's favorite soup is. Three <laughs> minutes. Hey, Joe, do you have a new joke for us? You do it. It's dark. Fucking That's say it, turd. We're in the mood. We're in the right, dark. We'll get into it, guys. Yeah, guys. It's the holidays, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. You know, it's not always the the best time of the year for everyone, right? Like a lot of people, you lose your parents, you lose your spouse. Like a lot of people dealing with a lot of grief and death around the holidays. It's not great for everyone. Me personally, I lost my dad two years ago. Anyone Ooh. else lose a parent? Anyone else that? Dead dad club in the house. No. I don't know my dead dad, dad, dad club. <laughs> okay, uh, dead mom, dead mom club. It's, you know, <laughs> look, listen, I just, it's hard. You know, they say these things get better, but really they just, they kind of get different in their own way every year. And um, 
I'm very fortunate, though, in the comedy community, though, there's a lot of people who can rate Like, comedy and Dead Dad Club is like a magnet. Like, there's a lot of fucking homies with dead parents in the comedy scene. So it's like we get along and we talk about these things. We talk about all of our experience and trauma. And we talk about, and like, you know, how people have died or something. That's somebody's and, uh, dead parents. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, Joe, like, there you know, is. You know, some people are talking about, like, you know, like we'll talk about the you know how th- how they died like you know like someone had you know uh cancer a car accident autoerotic asphyxiation <laughs> that one was weird <laughs> <laughs> you know but like uh, one day we're talking about this stuff and someone was talking to like you know I'm I'm really fortunate that my dad had like really good insurance and like a job and a pension when he died so I actually have some dead dad money coming and I was like, shit, I am so, I got so jealous. I got so jealous because my dad, my dad was an alcoholic, man. And he had a lot of problems toward the end of his life. He had several heart attacks. And one day he actually had a heart attack that killed him at the liquor store. <laughs> 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 and, uh, you know, and shortly after all these people started coming at me about his medical bills and stuff. So it's like, I just got jealousy, you know, that you got dead dad money and I got dead dad debt collectors. <laughs> Yeah, that's my yeah, d- d- yeah. Joe <laughs> Joe Bruno, everybody. Give it up for Joe Bruno. <laughs> that's that's great. <laughs> yeah, hey, R.I.P. Hey, right, R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. The Bruno. Hopefully, yeah, they find the like a treasure chest. <laughs> Do you get like free liquor at that liquor store because it's a traumatic event for you? <laughs> he said he said he, they got real weird. He walked in and he goes, "So my dad died here." <laughs> they're like, they're like, get the fuck out." I was just wondering if I could get like 12 modelos on the house. <laughs> you know. Uh Jose, do you have anything to plug? You got anything coming up? Well, After Christmas, 50 first jokes. 50 first jokes. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Congrats, dude. That's, that's <laughs> Oh, I'll high five. Yeah. Yes. That's big. That's Dude, just congratulations! It's a big nerve wracking every year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, but yeah, we'll try it. You're uh, a sledgehammer. Shout out, we'll see. whoever sings that. Yeah, and then 3 a.m. sometimes at random. Nice, dude. This Shout out. Podcast. Look up Jose McCall on all the info. 3 a.m. <laughs> McCall. Yeah. What is it? McCall for info on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently banned on Facebook. Da boy. Yeah. Oh, well. That's how you know he's good, though. Email Mark Zucker. <laughs> That's how you know. Yeah. <laughs> Book him on your shit. This guy's dude. doing time comic. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jose's the best comic we know. So Yeah. For Jose, yeah. appreciate you being on. Yeah, thank yeah. you. That's so a podcast. Much, That's a podcast, bro. Throw all that beat. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's a podcast. Hey. We're freestyling. I can again. stay on this beat now. We're in the green room, and it's actually green. It's fucking cool. Most clubs are mean. They don't have shit for us like meals and drinks, but Looney's is cool because it's here and it's free. Hey, that's gone on the time. He's looking like a cool guy. 1995, Double he wasn't alive. I was about two, but I wasn't in this country. You should suck on my dick. All right, or on his it. shoe because it rhymes. Beanie boys, being blunt. <laughs> Follow us on the pages. Bye. Yeah. Fuck off. (laughs) Thanks, loonies.